Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. And this is Palmar, wondering what Direwolf just did. I didn't do anything. You're the guy that was inside the thing. Dude, look, you you had me log into Forgecraft. You wanted to show off this cool new automation thing you did. And boom, now we're in this room where there's water on the ceiling, there's water on the floor, and I don't know what's going on. Well, maybe, you know what? Here's what I think, Palmar. I log into Forgecraft all the time and never have any problems, and the first time you log in in months, this happens. Look, you I'm just saying, I'm just saying that You know that's what, you've been, you've been pulling I've been that, you've been pulling that ever since I crash-landed that ship on that desert planet. Yeah, I remember that happening, and now you've apparently destroyed the universe. Uh, <laughs> this, this. All I know is it's the end of the universe and I'm stuck here with you. Yeah, um... I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty terrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry it's the end of the universe and you're stuck with me. Yeah, that sounds terrible, actually. I, I agree with you on that point. You know, you know this, isn't exactly this isn't exactly how I expected, how I expected, the, end expected the end to look. Yeah, me neither. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I think we should read our books and find out what's going on. What do you think? Oh, the quest book, eh? Ooh. With all the dirt creepers and desert spiders withered away from my chemicals, I was able to travel to the end and use my poly tool on the dragon portal with unexpected consequences. Now I gaze into the black hole in front of me, I see my eyes staring back in my reflection, caught in a place I never thought I would be, the edge of all space and time. Everything has changed, and now getting home seems like a luxury I can no longer afford. My only desire is to escape this place and be free from the whirling infinite beyond me. See? Told you. All your fault. It's your poly tool. I don't know what a poly tool is. It seems like something you would make. No, I don't think so. So I think we have some quests to do, Mr. Pahimar, for this uh, material energy hypercubal place that we're in. Shall we get started? Well, first, I'm going to invite you to my team because you oh, invited yeah. me to your team for the last two maps. You're right. We should do that, huh? Did it's you... also telling me hardcore mode is not active. You have an infinite amount of lives. Woohoo! I like that. I hear that's good because I hear this is really char like hard and challenging. Uh, are we sharing lives? Is that what's happening? They're infinite. Oh, okay. Here, I set it to individual it to lives it. and reward okay. setting multiple rewards. Sure, why not? That's how we normally do it. Okay. There we go. But we should... We should absolutely, like, we should do hardcore or no? Nah. I kind of want to do hardcore. Like, let's do like we did on the Agrarian Skies map. But if this is really that hard of a map, we should have, like, a break in case of emergency class. Okay. Uh, let's see how I can do that. With some extra hearts on. in it. Oh, by the way, because I'm clicking through the interface here, uh, we should officially say that we are playing Material Energy 4 Hypercube. Yeah. Which I is agree. a map done by Parcel three U three one U. Yep. I believe this is actually the sequel to his winning map as part of the Feed the Beast uh, jam packed mod pack competition. Yes, that is correct, sir. So this is his follow up map for Minecraft one seven ten. We've been eagerly I'm waiting to find to out what's this. inside the sky chest above this glass. By the way. I know. I like that. It's got the mod that actually will tell you what's in the inventory of the chest by looking at it. Yeah, I know. And I'm going and to... I'm going... Yoink, yoink, yoink. I'm guessing that clock might be related to the first quest we have to do. Considering we have quests with unclaimed rewards already. Yeah. Lost okay, cool. in space. Let's see. Unforeseen consequences. Where am Looks I? like that's completed. Yeah, so that's just a clock and a compass, so we'll claim the reward. So, portable scanner, reward bag, red heart canister, and space-time flux. Sounds good to me. And then lost then in lo space. And this is for the spatial log. I opened my reward bags, and I got a silver battle sign and a very damaged anvil. But the silver battle sign is pretty cool. It's got auto repair on it. I <laughs> got uh, paper shuriken. Nice. 
and melon cubes. Very that should cool. be good for that food. Good for oh, there's a there's one down here too. I'm going for it. Is there? Uh, chest down here. Mystery arrows, a golden egg, red stained clay, 64 cookies, four ender markers, cactus seeds, and sugarcane seeds. Let's take them. I'm gonna take half the cookies. You are welcome to take the rest of the stuff. I like the uh, cookie arrows. I can shoot you full of food. Hopefully. I'm gonna go check out this wall. It's a cool design. Yeah. Sky stone. Sky stone. So the quest book tells us there's a travel anchor here that we need to go visit. And I think I found it. You think it's the one that's right underneath you by the look of it? Yes. And that gives us a reward we can claim. A yet Yeta ranch? Yes. Cool. Do you know how to use travel anchors? I do not. Uh, you stand on it, and if you look around, there should be another travel anchor somewhere that you can see in your view range, and then you just jump to teleport when you're looking at it. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Where'd you go? Straight up. Hello. We That's seem to cool. have found That's something. Cool. This is the spatial I.O. room, apparently, according to uh, where we are. Please unload Please spatial unload. areas before loading in another, or corruption may occur. In case of fire, run. Sounds fair. So. All right, I don't want to touch nothing in this room yet, because I want to make sure the book doesn't, like, you know, have any major problems. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, chem lab? Oh, this is a big room. Did you find the chem lab? Margo. Whoa. Oh, I gotta remember to uh, to jump. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, there's an elevator here too, so I want to jump up and see what's up here. By the way, I haven't really looked around this map at all yet, so I have no idea like what's what or where's where. Same here. Same. I'm just looking around right now. So one of the mods that's apparently heavily featured here is Minechem, and um, I don't know anything about Minechem. Crafting station. Oh, yeah. Chemical efficient, yeah, okay. Uh, you uh, you got that degree in nuclear uh, science, right? right? Maybe. My inventory's hey. being all weird and derpy, by the way. I found a trophy. I'm gonna take it. Oh. Uh, I don't think you can break them without a pickaxe. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do you see it over there, that little skelly? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna relog real quick because my inventory is being really derpy. Okey doke. I'm having like a desync issue or something with inventory. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm going to go to the VM. Okay. I'm going to install this red heart canister that I got from one of our quest rewards. You went to the VM? Yeah. Wow. Oh, this place is cool. Oh, that's a lot of different kinds of wool. This reminds me of sleep. the Feed the Beast original map. <laughs> oh, look, there's a spot for trophies. Imagine that. I just found one. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Very so, like, what we're supposed to be doing right now, apparently, is visiting all these rooms. So, we should find an observatory and a big reactor somewhere. Okay, I found the reactor, and I see what looks like a big reactor. Sweet, where is it? In the reactor. Okay, thanks. Oh, I see. Reactor. Oh, hello. Hello, reactor. This room's red. Well, at least well, we know you're not colorblind. Yeah. Maybe we both are. So the reactor is full of eulorium, it looks like. That's good. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's in any way being cooled, which isn't bad. It's just inefficient. Um, but good to know. But it's not. It's hooked up to a tesseract, apparently. It's not turned on. No, you don't want to turn it on. Because we, we'd basically be wasting energy if we turn it on right now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, another sky Ooh, stone. A sky stone chest. Oh, where? Over to the side with behind the tesseract. There's a reward bag and a reactor guide. 
Oh, neat. I took the bag. I didn't even out. see that. Bag. And I found 64 fertilizer. Neat. Let's away to the observatory, because that is the last place we need to visit in order for our quest. Any idea where the observatory Chem lab, spatial incubator. Oh, it's up to the top right. Found it. Hooray. Got there first. Yeah, this place is cool. Ooh, more chests. Some thermal expansion yeah. machines. Emmy dense cable. Yeah. Let's do energy Let's cell. Start. Lots of quest books. Oh, oh. nice. Ender lilies. That's like that. We definitely want those. Tons and tons of ME stuff. Drives, drives. Just a handful. Crafting terminals, interface terminals, cables. Okay. Tons of conduits, tons of conduits. Tons of I wonder if these leadstone energy conduits are hooked up to anything. Some Apparently not. Plus. Okay. Ooh, I found a skystone energy chest. It's mine. Core log. Ha ha. Ah. I win. Replace space-time wools. That's pretty much what it says. Whoa! Look down here. Yeah. Down there? No, over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. I'm trying not to run because we don't have food yet. That's a big empty space. And that's the logo for the map. Sweet. I think uh, we have quest to hand in all of a sudden. We have the traveling around quest, which gets us a magnet. And oh, I found the core log. That book was a quest reward. And now we need Spain. to go to the spatial I.O. chamber. I'm going to put all the junk that I have in my inventory inside this chest because I have no idea how dangerous this map is, but I don't want to die. Spatial I.O. chamber. Oh, okay. I just noticed that the logo is on the floor again. And another cool. trophy. Another trophy. Where is the spatial I.O. chamber? There's a spatial incubator, but it says destination is obstructed. I've visited the spatial I.O., so I'm going to claim the reward bag. Oh, cool. I, too, will claim it. And I got hypnotized, hypnotizing trinket. I got a rail, activator rail, and a dropper. I think nothing you get could be as cool as what I got. Um, you could have gotten a bow tie or a... Fez, but that is yeah, pretty, no. cool. pretty cool. I got a monocle. Great. Now right. it's no. Master Direwolf 20. That's right. Don't you forget it. Oh, there's a lot of things open. Inclusion Chamber is the next quest. There's a lot more quests we can access now. So I guess what we're supposed to do is activate the Spatial I.O. That's the only thing I can imagine based on it sending us here, and then we have to go to some chamber. So yes, in the terminal here was an inclusion chamber, which is where we're supposed to go. Here, what you do is um, put the inclusion chamber in the left slot of the spatial I.O. port, and then press the button. And then um, Awkward silence as Direwolf tries yeah, to figure out what's going on. Gone. Oh, the book says you need to travel back to the observatory to enter. We should probably be reading what the book says. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoa. Remember that big empty open room? It's no longer empty. Yeah, that's what Spatial I.O. does. So we're supposed to find the center of this room, apparently. Oh, we did it already. We can claim reward. Man, this map's easy. I got a jukebox. I also got a jukebox. Sweet. So, what's in Whoa. here? Whoa. Um, what'd you find? Chest full of redstone stuff. Sweet. Sounds good to me. We should leave it there for now, just in case. Whoa, look down. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
That's cool. I suppose we can go explore down there. Except I see a I zombie, see, though. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm starting to see mobs. Yeah, it's not a good sign. What else do we have over here? Um, this looks like it goes down somehow. What's over in that green room? Uh, armor. Sweet. And a wooden pick. But trees, that's good. You know what I feel pretty happy about? What's that? Not having to worry about water. <laughs> I'm gonna chop down a tree. There's axes over here. There's a sky stone yeah. chest at the back here full of paper stuff. Sweet. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, we got a green room. Oh, yeah, there you go. You've already uh, completed this one. Oh? Yeah, there's a quest here called, because we found the inclusion chamber. Right. So there's a green room one, and that was you just needed to get four Paris wood. And that gives okay. us four saplings, a slime hatchet, fertilizer, and a flint pickaxe. Sweet. And then there's one for the red room. And the red room is just to have a redstone alloy, which I'll go get. Okay. Nice. There wasn't like a hatchet or anything in this chest, was there? Not really. Okay, we it in the red room. Oh, there's a lumber axe. <laughs> cool. Zisto's battle sign. Oh, wow. I don't know what what these trees are from, but whatever they are, it looks like the uh, leaves decay like instantly when you chop them down. That'd be good for uh, harvesting a ton of uh, wood. Yeah. All right, I let me hand in my quest rewards too. Dressed in wood. So we got chopping wood. Sweet. I got a bunch of fertilizer, the slime hatchet, flint pickaxe. This tool has incorrect data. Place it in a crafting table. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, let's see. Did we have anything? Oh, yeah, we can complete Red Room already? Nice. Yep. Okay, these mobs are not nice. Hey, I got 64 cube melons. I also have that. Really? Hey, I've got food. Nom nom nom. I feel like I should plant these, though. Did they plant? Yeah, they're there. Okay, cool. I don't know if this weird soil stuff works or what, but... It's called garden soil. It let me plant it, even though I didn't till it. Okay, so there's apparently a room under the red room, and it's got mobs! Oh boy. Are you alright or do you need help? I'm coming up. Did we turn on hardcore questing mode? Uh, I have no idea if we did. It says it is not active yet. Oh boy, yeah, there's, there's mobs down here, alright. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, maybe. No. This is a poor decision. <laughs> well, I didn't know they were right there. <laughs> Why don't we come back in a second? Okay, I have to make my way back to the observatory. See you in a few, guys. Hey, you're back. I am. You got your stuff back. You your stuff back. I did. You know what I did is I uh, climbed down the ladder and I snagged that wooden rapier from the chest and kind of just like it took a while, but I killed a couple zombies that were camping my corpse by just holding shift on the ladder because they couldn't get up to me. <laughs> zombies can't climb ladders. Oh, I see you planted some things, too. I did. I figured um, I would plant some saplings here um, so we get more wood. And I remember we got those um, things from a chest downstairs. We got the cactus and sugarcane seeds. I decided to plant one of each here. They planted, and normally they won't plant unless they're under special conditions, so I assume that this garden soil lets you do whatever you want. But that's should... only an assumption. I should tone down my monster sounds because there's a lot of them and they're noisy. I was actually thinking the same. 
hostile creatures. I don't want it to be too quiet because I don't want them to sneak up on me. But I'll I, tone it down I, a little bit. I set it down to 30. I did 50 because I'm less cautious than you, or more cautious. One of those two. <laughs> so we've got a lot of quests open. Um, we have tools and weapons, which recommend that we build some Tinker's type stuff, and we'll get some rewards for that. Oh, nice. We can get some nice pickaxes from it, too. Mm -hmm. um, Skystone. I collected all the Skystone. All right. I haven't seen any Skystone yet, unless that's what's down there. That very well could be Skystone below us. It looks like it. Um, and then there's um, compressed, the compressed resources. Oh, so this oh, so it the... looks like we can just get. Oh, I love the flavor test. Risk it for the biscuit. So it's a room full of mobs, like the ones that just killed you, and if we get this stuff, then we get a reward bag and a triple compressed cookie. Oh, that's what compressed resources is? Mm-hmm. Ooh, there's nice. a secret. There is. There's a secret at uh, 32 blocks away from us. So I have to go to 1,156... So we have to go up, 1027. Oh, it's actually like right above me right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, do How do we get up there? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Let's do some Tinkers related stuff. I think that's a good way to start the episode because that seems to be like the real bulk of what we need to actually start working on now. And then once we have some tools, we can kind of go from there. I don't know what an Ignatius pick. Ignatius tool rod, huh? Ignatius pickaxe head. Durability 200, mining speed 4, mining level iron. And my other... Oh, wow, there's lots of different types of metals. I'm going to go collect those trophies, because those are actually part of the quests, too. Oh yeah. oh yeah, look at that. It's in the secrets tab. Sweet. Community spatial areas? That's cool. I'm guessing these are like bonus quests or something, so maybe we'll take a look at those later. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to get started on a part builder, a stencil table, and a tool station from Tinkers. I've got a bunch of wood, so I should be able to handle most of it. Oh, cool. Okay, I got the cave spider one. Let's see where I found the other one. I think it was in the chem lab. So this be the skeleton. Okay, that's two trophies right off the bat. Nice. Sweet, and I should have a quest ready to hand in. Well, actually, those trophies are quests you can hand in, too, for reward bags. Reward bag. Oh, nice. So we'll do part builder, then tool station, and stencil table. Well, I'll do stencil table on the far left. Ooh, 20 glowstone illuminators. And a whole bunch of golden lassos. Nice. So much so that so I can't so carry like... them. Really? How much inventory do you have? I'm full now. There is. All right, one, so two, I got three, a good four, and a basic reward bag. I need you to come help me get these golden lassos. There's ten of them still here. Okay, one sec. Let me put away some of the junk that I have at the moment. The good part about dying is I got some direwolf twenty heads. <laughs> Where are you at? Chem lab. Uh, top of the chem lab. And there was a spot to place those um, um, trophies in one of the rooms. Was it the VM room? Uh, oh, they're glowing. There's things in them. Oh, there's things in them. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So we should be um, we should be cautious about opening those. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna let's make our observatory our main base. That kind of seems to be the purpose of the room, considering there's so many things here. And I'm going to make some uh, wooden chests to start storing some junk in. How's that sound? 
sounds good. Because until now, I've been storing it in the chests we were given, but I kind of want to separate what we were given with, you know, what we've got until we get a good feel for what we have, you know what I mean? So for now, I'll make this side of the room like item storage area. Oh crap, the cave spider. What? You all right? The cave spider trophy poisons you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, trophies do things, and some of them are not nice things. Oh, I found another trophy. Wow, you're a just bat. finding them left and right, aren't you? I'm a pro achievement hunter. Clearly. I have another reward bag to open, as a matter of fact. Ooh, the bat one but gives now I'm just three bags. Put, like, really? Really, really. All right, that should do for now. I need more sugar cane so I can repair my paper lumber axe. All right, so what do I have to hand in now? Two plus five rewards. Wow, three reward bags, nice. And I still haven't even opened this one. I got a necrotic axe, sweet. It's stonebound, silky, life steel, auto repair. Wow. That sounds like a pretty cool axe. I feel like we're being given all these things and we're thinking that we're totally going to be OP and I feel like it's going to be just taken from us. More than likely, yes. Oh, I got a wooden frying pan with all kinds of wowness on it. Well, let's place it in here for now. There we go. Beheading, Bane of Another Arthropod, trophy. Sharpness, Smite, Luck. Wow. That's kind of cool. I'm finding all the trophies. I don't know what weapon I want to use now. <laughs> Three and a half attack for the wooden frying pan. Necratic axe does how much damage? I don't even know. There's so much information on this piece of thing. I don't even know. Okay, I'm putting this stuff away. I'm just going to stick with this for now. Um, so we can hand... Oh, you found another trophy. Goodness, Bahamar. Yep, I found the zombie one. So there's another reward Sweet. bag for us. I got flint. Just kind of poking around. I found that one in the reactor, so that's two in the reactor I found now. Cool. Um, so I can apparently claim reward on the tools and weapons quest in the main quest line. Okay, well let me come to you, because I have a bunch of inventory I need to drop. Mining speed 7, durability 89. Mining speed six, probably two fifty. Hmm. So Ignatius is the wrong choice. I'll go with iron, I guess, because iron is probably going to be easier to come by than obsidian, maybe, eventually when I need to repair things. I'm going to assume that to be the case. Sweet. Well, I got a neat tool rock that does things. But I already have this flint pickaxe, so I can kind of save this tool rod stuff for later. As you can okay. tell, by the way, Palomar, I designated a chest for all the lassos if you want to put them all in the same chest. <laughs> okay. At some point, we'll have to get organized with our inventory, but... Oh, good, I got bone meal. That's neat. All right. We always say that. You realize that? Man, as soon yeah. as we get some of these rewards and everything, we're going to totally uh, organize our chests, and we never do. I agree. Uh, so the next suggested course of action is a tool forge, but I happen to know that requires a lot of iron, which we do not have yet. Um, I'm opening up reward bags. Would you like to know what I got? Okay. I would love to know what you got. I got five ME storage bus. That's kind of good. I got Hermes Dev Null. No idea. Also good. Is. Four impulse plates. Twenty lime stained glass, pink stained glass, gray, and blue. Okay. Um. So, 
I don't really know where we're supposed to go next quest wise, except that we need Skystone for one of them. So if you want, we can go just check out what's down in that crazy area downstairs underneath everything. Do we need iron to get Skystone or is it diamond? I don't know, but I have flint, so hopefully that's enough. It's mining level iron. I'm pretty sure Skystone is pretty standard stuff, so I think it should be all right. Where'd you go? I gotta go drop off the trophy I got. Oh, okay, cool. Do you all come back in a minute? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. All right, Pahamar. I think our next course of action, and by the way, I just got a little bit more sugar cane. Hooray! Uh, would be to head down underground here, and I think the way to get there is this way, at least. This leads pretty far down. So I don't know what's down there. Uh, we should make sure we've got at least some degree of protection with us. And uh, once we manage to make our way down there, I think we'll have to find some sky stone at the very least and see what else is down there. Because that's what the next quest has is doing. It's, it looks to me like the next reliable quest is either this Lapis Keliestis stuff or sky stone. And apparently ghastly wool is something we should be finding as well at this point. But um, uh, maybe it's down there. I don't know. Yeah, that kind of terrifies me. Yeah. Oh, plan of attack. Uh, making a wooden shield. That seems pretty easy. Where's that? So if you look in the quest, it's besides system oh, core. Oh, yeah, that just unlocked. Okay. So that's, and, and we'll it gives get you a stone, stone long sword. All right, you want to do that real quick? Sure, do you know how to make a wooden shield? I'm looking it up in the eye. Yes, it's uh, five pieces of wood and a plus sign. Do you happen to have that? Enough. Yep, it should be in some of the chests over there. There should be wood. Hooray! Claim reward. That's also had incorrect data. Well, that's cool. The same symbol for the quest is uh, in your inventory. There's a tab at the top. Okay. I don't know how to equip the shield or the sword. So the quest book says we have to find a, a button called draw weapons and it's going to be conflicted. Ah, uh, I see. Well, why don't we take care of that next time? Too late. Oh, well, what did you bind it to? Look. Does it look like I'm carrying a stone sword and a shield? Yes. Nice. That's cool. So I can right-click the block, and I can left-click to swing my sword. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if I can put my frying pan in there. Yeah, I can. What's up? I'm so ready to go down there and fight whatever's going to happen. Nice. nice. Okay. okay. Well, we'll do that next okay. episode. Okay. For now, it's time to wrap up. So I hope you guys are excited. I am very excited to check out this map and see what's all involved in Material Energy Hypercubed. Uh, we'll be back next episode to apparently explore what's down there. For now, Direwolf20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.